The raid wasn't a complete loss, Sir George. We did lose a thousand knights, but at least we made off with this extraordinary diamond. It's half eaten! Curse those dragons! Merwin, I want some fiendish advice. How can I make Camel Hot mine? Hmm. My spies have just given me some new, deliciously diabolical information regarding the future of Camelot. <sighs> My new alarming clock is a splendid invention, but adding the snooze lever was pure genius. Flicker, hurry up, you lazy bag of dragon droppings. King Olfar's been waiting to see you. I just want to test the snooze lever one more time. I'll be down in nine minutes. Fine. I'll tell the king, our absolute sovereign, master of all he surveys, that you can't fit him into your busy schedule. Whoa, hold your jingle bells. Tell the king I'm on my way. Maybe it's about my request to battle in the tournament tomorrow. If I can't win, Princess Flame will be forced to marry someone else. It's a photo of Princess Flame. She's the apple of my eye, the cream in my coffee, the frosting on my cupcake. Strange, whenever I think of Flame I get very hungry. A great inventor needs a great workbench. Unfortunately, I'm stuck with this one. My rubberized tail warmer. Functional yet stylish. It keeps my tail toasty at night. This is the most precious thing I own. My invention book. It contains the designs for all my best inventions. It's my pet moth, Pavlov. So far I've conditioned him to stay in his jar even after the lid is removed. I never go anywhere without this. A good inventor always has his invention book. Flicker, about tomorrow's tournament, my answer is no! Jeez, I was only an hour late. The tournament is open only to dragon knights. You're not a knight, you're not even a squire. Knights of the square table, your attention please. Silence please, silence for the king. Pray silence, the king is speaking. Uh, Shh. I'm oh, sorry. We must do something, Flicker. I refuse to marry one of these flaming idiots. I'll try, Flame. I promise. Uh oh, visitors! Humans, Humans in Camelot? Camelot? Greetings, King Smallfire. <laughs> oh, I sincerely regret to hear that you are finally retiring. When my entry in your tournament, the Black Dragon wins and is crowned king, he will turn your hide into ladies' handbags and tight shoes. What? Humans can't enter the tournament? I'm certain the Camelhot Law Book will not allow such a thing, Chancellor! Hmm. You're undoubtedly right, sire. Chapter 3, Section 9, Paragraph 18 clearly states that humans shall not be eligible to participate in any tournament. Unless, of course, they have a dragon to participate on their behalf. Chancellor! I believe you're mistaken. Doesn't Chapter 3, Section 9, Paragraph 18 refer to an obscure law governing public snout picking? Uh, yes, well, at one time it did, but uh, I changed it, accidentally. Uh, this is a sensitive matter of state, King Orphire. I really don't think the princess should be involved. Quite right. Keep quiet, dearest. 
wibble while you may. Tomorrow, Camel Hut will be mine. Away, Mervyn! Humans! Pah! We should have toasted the little pink bugs the moment they arrived. Calm down. Our opponent can be defeated. Your mission is to bring back information about this mysterious black dragon. Yes, sire! Father, Flicker needs a mission. Oh, okay. Flicker, I hereby command you to wash all the dirty dishes that have piled up in the royal kitchen. There you have it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wacko. Tell you who, chaps, we have a black dragon to quash. That's an English word, you know. Ooh, ah, blind idiot! Oh, great. I see Sir Gasvane's been using room service again. It's a perfect fit. So snug that no steam's escaping. Vicar, I've got great news. You're gonna help me with the dishes? No. If you're a knight, Daddy will have to let you compete in the tournament. To become a knight, you first need to have an existing knight take you on as a squire. And then? As a squire, you can journey into the Cave of Dilemma. Leave alive and you're a knight. Good luck! Bye! Well, that sure simplified things. I bet this mop keeps the kitchen floor clean enough to eat off. We should use it on the tables. I could most likely use this in case I make a mess. Or perhaps for something else. An interesting idea. Another perfect fit. I'm a natural at this. Stand back, Flicker. I think you've done it again. It's working. Lo and behold, the automatic dishwasher. Now, how much would you pay for this miracle time saver? Don't answer, because I'm free to leave the castle. What's all this then? Good day, Chancellor. This is my latest invention, the automatic dishwasher. I see it's run off steam. Is it powerful? As powerful as a dozen knights. Fascinating. Perhaps later I can help you find some further uses for it. Excuse me, King Allfire. Flicker, leave me. I'm thinking through a strategy for when my knights return. Hmm. Pipe cleaners. The king must have been cleaning his sinuses out. I don't have sinus problems, but this pipe cleaner might come in handy. Monarch Quarterly. In this issue, they reprint King Allfire's infamous 12-hour coronation speech. I'll just take the Monarch Quarterly along in case I get a sudden bout of insomnia. This is my bedroom. Next time, knock, please. Excuse me? Flame? Flicker, have you done it? Are you a squire? Uh, I'm close, Flame. Honest. Hurry, Flicker. I refuse to marry against my will. Can't you talk the king out of forcing you to marry? Use your feminine wiles. You know, smile sweetly. Lock him in a half, Nelson. I've tried, but he reversed me into a figure four leg lock. Flame? Flicker? Do you have any more advice about becoming a knight? Nope. 
but here's a kiss for good luck. Flame? Flicker? So, uh, what sort of dragon do you want to marry? Well, the dragon of my dreams is sensitive. The other day I saw a rainbow so beautiful, I wept. Of course he'd have to be funny. Did you hear about the human who thought manual labor was a famous Spanish painter? Brave. He'd have to be brave. I'm almost completely over that nightlight phase. I swear. And most important of all, he'd have to be covered in tattoos that say, I belong to flame. Fine, I'll check the docks and get back to you. Touchy. King Ulthire thought of this information booth after he got lost in a neighbouring castle. I beg your pardon? Yes? What can I do for you? Can I have some useless information? The record for standing in an active volcano is 37 days, 4 hours and counting. Of course, the poor fellow died instantly, but still. What are you knitting? Oh, my little boy's grown another two feet since last week. I just can't keep up. Now, what can I do for you? I need your help. I have to locate the Knights of the Square Table. I've got a semi-enchanted map. It will show you where you want to go, even if you don't know you want to go there. I beg your pardon? Yes, what can I do for you? I need one of those... Um, things. You know. You mean one of those diddly bops you put on your... well, you know. Exactly. But without the doohickey on the end. Either you want a new bowstring for your crossbow or I should slap your face. Either way, I can't help you. What's the easiest way to become a squire? Kiss some nights, butt flicker. It hurts, but it's worth it. Oh, heavens me, did I just say that? I have all the information I need. The map really is enchanted. I can see where all four nights have gone. Burnaby wind up here. This is the home for the grimly insane, where they treat clinically depressed storybook characters. She seems like a very confused young lady. Excuse me, but your hair... It's too long, I know. Otherwise you never would have said such a thing. Please calm yourself, miss. Yablanowitz! Rapunzel Yablanowitz! And how could I be calm with all this long hair? Oh, what long hair? You don't know what it was like. Everywhere I turned it was, Rapunzel, throw down your hair! Rapunzel, throw some more hair down! Hey, I didn't get any hair over here! Before long, I was throwing down hair all over the place. It was making me crazy! That's exactly what I was thinking. Crazy. Luckily, Dr. Fraud is a man who knows how to make a commitment. In fact, he's committed everybody here. He's really helped me see the light. Getting the hair out of your eyes probably helped. Should you be outside? Unattended? Yes, of course. I do the gardening around here. I trim the bushes, I trim the grass, I trim everything. And you should have seen that beanstalk before I got to it. Why are you so stressed about your hair? My hair? 
If I don't keep it short, it'll grow down to the floor and then out the door. But we're outside. Wouldn't it grow in the door? Well, if you're going to split hairs... Now, don't bother me. I've got to be ready with my clippers if it tries to grow. Forget I said anything. Most people do. Magic beans. This one looks good. It's a bottle of Hair Club for Dragons. Guaranteed to grow hair on even the most stubborn heads. It would be like talking to a wall. How's it hanging? Stay away! Any more of that tonic and I'll be able to tuck my bangs into my socks! I won't splash you again, you have my word. What I'd really like to have is that hair tonic. How about you hand over the bottle and I'll give you my clippers? Nah, I have the strangest desire to collect a lot of junk lately. Well, okay. Lance, the royal mole, is ruining the streets of Camelhot. Excuse me, chef? Oh, solo mio, nothing is free. My life is so depressing. <laughs> it's an affair and an jest. Oh, what is the point? It seems like not much. What do you want, a flicker? I'm a busy, being upset. What's the problem? What isn't? Ah, it's been such a long time since I had a good laugh, you know? Like when you laugh so gosh darn hard, you think your heart is going to explode? Maybe it would help if I told you an amusing anecdote. What's the matter, you? I'm not sick. I don't need no antidote. Well, you need something to put a smile on your face. <laughs> Hello up there. How's it going? You say you're from the Union? I oh, can't hear you way up here. Oh, I'm coming down. I'm sorry, but I'm not from the Union. Forget it, kid. It's time for a break anyway. The Sign Washers Union says we get a break every 13 minutes. You need a lot of breaks when you work on stilts, you know. It's the Royal Termite Mound. Another fine sign. This one is carved from Flintstone, I believe. It's the Royal Catapult Target Range, where knights practice raining cats, but never dogs, against enemy castles. A crude representation of Sir George's home, Castle Grimm, which is pretty crude itself. It's simple. Use the catapult to knock down the cutouts of Sir George's knights. All I have to do is aim the catapult, adjust the tension and release. If I hit 9 out of 10 wooden knights, I get a shot at the big Sir George cutout for the win. I missed one, but I can still win! 
Darn, I lose! All I have to do is aim the ca- I missed one, but I, I got it! That's one! Chalk up a second one! Darn, I lose! All I have to do is- I got it! That's one! Chalk up a second one! Scratch the third one! Four down! Halfway there, that's five! Six! Got this by the tail! Darn! Missed by a whisker! I can't miss again! Seven down! Victory is near! Darn! I lose! All I have to do... I got it! That's one! Chalk up a second one! Scratch the third one! Four down! Halfway there, that's five! Six! Got this by the tail! Seven down, victory is near! That makes eight! Hey, that's nine! I missed one, but I can still win! I did it! I win! I am master of the catapult range! The poor fella took a lot of punishment. I'd better hold on to him. My bedroom or Dragon Central Station? It's my clicker. The first thing I ever invented. I won second place at the science fair that year. First place went to the wheel. Hmm, magic bean. Where should I plant this thing? I need a plant in my bedroom, but not one a hundred feet tall. Hello, little friend. Anxious to show all the nice people what a well-trained moth you are? Pa 
Pavlov, where are you going? You're setting a terrible example at the beginning of the game. Bad, Moth, bad. Try that good luck kiss thing again. You think your mother is, uh... uh a, a dragon! Oh, good sir, I don't have time for this. Ah! You have a classic case of scale envy. Now, take off that silly costume, hmm? This isn't a costume. I'm a dragon! <laughs> and you, sir, are a fraud! Yes! I am Dr. Sigmund Ford! Specialist in the disturbed, the confused, and the loony nut boys! What a mess! Sir Bernie is trapped! Join you will be my life's work! Thought of yourself? Try this! Ah, you are taxing my <sighs> Must keep wooden pipe in perfect condition! I don't know what I'd do without my pipe! Ah! We're doomed! A total rat attack! Any second now, I'm going to be covered from head to toe with rats! Rats up my shirt, down my pants, in my shoes! Stop that over there! What are you, cuckoo? Cut it out! Strangers on the street will say, What a nice fur coat, what a nice fur coat, and I'll say, I'm not wearing a fur coat! I am covered with rats! Dirty, stinking, lousy rats! Knock it off, you! The only rats around here are inside your head! In my head? Oh my god! Get them out, get them out, get them out now! Settle down! Relax! Relax! Untie me, Flicker. Hurry! Flicker! Oh, good job, lad. I wish there was a way to show my gratitude. And I wish that a grateful knight would make me a squire. If only there was some way both our wishes could come true. I believe indentured servitude to be a degrading anachronism. But so you will not defame my hallowed name, please take this gift as a token of my gratitude. Sir Knight, I don't know what to say. Except, what is this? It was awarded to me when I deduced that the world was the shape of a duck. Seven. Impressive. A naked man eating flies. After what I've seen today, that doesn't seem so strange. That was remarkable! All it took was Princess Flame's kiss to turn you back into your original form. I imagine you'd giggle if you could. And most of your IQ went away when you transformed, didn't it? So I'm probably standing here talking to a frog who doesn't understand a word I say. Oh, 
Oh, just look at the time. King Allfire sent me on a mission and I've been here for hours. You're such a bad boy. Hey, big guy. I can't control my burning feelings of candy love. Baby, baby, and your eyes. You like them? 99.9% .9 pure paradise. Oh, well. Come down and face your conqueror, Sir George. You've got the wrong castle, so blind as a bat. Oh. That's Sir Gasflame, the visually impaired. He's a powerful warrior, but his eyes are as weak as his intellect. I or Um, pardon me, Sir Gasflame? Huh? My word! A giant talking dandelion! <laughs> oh, Flicker, it's you! Why do you refuse to wear glasses? Sir Bernevere wears them into battle. Do you think any less of him? Of course I do! But he can use those large words to defend himself. That's King Allfire up there. Your sense of humour is warped. It's clear this is Castle Grimm and that fuzzy blot up there is Sir George. Talk to you later. I see you're busy attacking the wrong castle. I order you to surrender, vile human! I order you to the Royal Optometrist! I order you to surrender, vile human! I order you to the Royal Optometrist! Perfect. It sank right into the ground. Now if I know my fairy tales, this shouldn't take very long. Unhand my nose, you stone-blind stalker! King Allfire! What happened to Sir George? Am I in trouble? Confound you, Gasflame! This is the last straw! Oh my word, look at my poor tomato plants. Looks as though you've got brown roots, sire. Blast it all! I've worked so hard on them! There, there! If you like, I can give you my mum's recipe for fertilizer that will solve all your problems! That's rather stand up of you, Gasflame! All is forgiven with that earlier business! Uh, so, anyway. How's your mum these days? <laughs> Buried her last week. <laughs> Dead, you know. Oh, just a minute, sire. Flicker lad, thanks for the help. It was my pleasure, Sir Knight. Just as it would be my pleasure to serve under you as your squire. Oh, dash it all. You know me and squires. I'm a special case. As a token of my appreciation, though, here is a lump of Peruvian coal. Gee, thanks. Coal. Off to the square table room, Sir Gasflame. Follow me! Your Highness is most resourceful! She seems like a happy little frog, but I bet she's lonely being here all by herself. Angel Eyes, you have such fabulous... Excuse me, Sir Blaze? Not now, Mummy. Can't you see I'm busy? <sighs> you heard him, baby. Go chill with the out crowd. Excuse me, Sir Blaze? Hey, man. Go rat with all the other ugly people. You're as handsome as the honey gods of Olympus. People do stare at me, you know. Are you recovered from that embarrassing bout of narcissism, Sir Knight? Oh yes, Flicker. That was indeed a torturous, <sighs> yet somehow stimulating spell. Thank you for saving me. I'd consider the debt paid in full if you would take me on as your squire. Oh, bother. I'd love to, but I couldn't do a thing for you. I'm way over my squire quota. Try Sir Lunge a lot. He's looking for a squire. 
Come on now, no pouty faces. Here's a gift for you. I'm honoured, Sir Knight. This is clearly a family heirloom, handed down through generations. Don't be silly. I have another 30 crates in my boudoir. Hey, Sir Lancelot's out of the woods. It's been said that Sir Lancelot is the bravest and strongest of the knights. Of course, Sir Lancelot is usually the one who says it. There's the black dragon. Even his silhouette is scary. Sir Lancelot, I've been looking all over for you. I've been looking all over for the black dragon. I challenged the coward hours ago and he still hasn't engaged me in combat. Combat? With him? Surely you jest? No, I joust! I thought the King only wanted you to get information about the Black Dragon. Ha! Huh. King Allfire will forget all about that when I come home dragging the beast by its tail. You expect the Black Dragon to come down here? Why not? It's his turn! After all, I had to trudge all the way up the hill to challenge the brute! It's only fair he should come down to me for the battle! Is there any way I can talk you out of this challenge? No! It's a matter of honour now! Sir Lancelot, about the Black Dragon! This is no time for talking! I'm a dragon of action, and I'll sit here and wait for that dragon as long as I have to! I'll take this. The Black Dragon is a machine. That makes sense. No self-respecting dragon would ever work for Sir George. That's Sir George. I guess he's testing the Black Dragon. Loosen the rope, then get inside that thing! Where do- That's- That's Dog the Dog. Sir George's loyal dog. He's a clever little fellow. That's quite a strong knot, but the rope itself looks weak. That's quite a... We must... It's treadmill powered. We are simple, underachieving peasants. Go away, you cruddy canine! No fetching while I'm in the middle of something diabolical! Test the machine, not my patience! Just another moment. <coughs> For Camelhot! That's it, coward! Run away! Run away and smash into those redwood trees, coward! Some warrior you are! Slug brain simpletons! This is all your fault! Sir Lancelot, what happened? Did you not see it yourself? First the fiend was not alone, he brought several of his friends! No doubt it's a grand tale, but first I have something to ask you. Very well, what is it? You know I admire you, don't you? I'm not sure I like where this is going, Flicker. If you get funny on me, you'll regret it. I'm looking for a knight to squire under. And you want me to be that knight? Out of the question. You're not qualified. On a mission like this, you wear chain mail? Yes, what of it? Mail is fine if you're conquering a continent, but for tracking down dragons, I would have picked out a light wall. While tracking, you need to be light on your feet. You seem to know quite a bit about battlefield wear. I've just now decided that you will be my new squire. If you insist. Tis settled. Now, here's something I think you will need. Soap? Not common soap, simpleton. It's my privately blended laundry detergent for my undergarments, which I expect my squire to scrub every morning. Sir Lancelot, I'm overwhelmed by your generosity. 
You're very welcome. Now, back to Camel Hot so I can tell the others of my grand battle. King Allfire, the Black Dragon has been defeated. Say what? Good work, Sir Loungelot. You will make a fine king and husband to my lovely flame when you win the... I mean, <laughs> if you win the tournament tomorrow. <laughs> I am not about to stand here and be given away as a prize in a contest. Blast it all. Flicker, see if you could cool flames flames a bit, would you? Yes, your firm but fair dictatorship, but first I have vital news about the Black Dragon. What could you possibly have to report, my puny squire? That the Black Dragon is actually... a machine! <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, knight, settle down, we shall resume later. Flicker, now please go watch Princess Flame for me. All right, your Purple Mountain's Majesty. I'm running away. But I just became a squire, Flame. If I make knighthood by tomorrow, I can win your hand in the tournament. Sorry, can't chance it. Now, help me find something to lower out the window for me to climb down. Excuse me, Flame? What is it, Flicker? I'm running out of time. Where will you go? Wherever the mood takes me. As long as they have room service. Maybe I should come with you. Hmm, I don't know. We'll be on the run, never more than a few feet apart, sleeping in each other's arms, always brushing up against each other. Oh, perish the thought. I'm afraid. Afraid that I'll be at the mercy of a harsh and cruel world? I'm afraid of what will happen when your father learns I helped you escape. He'll have me skinned, beaten, flayed, shot, hogtied, deep fried, and drawn and quartered. You're so selfish sometimes. I'll let you finish your packing. I'm not getting any younger here. Ali Kazam! Zippity Duda! Ali, Ali, action free! Form of a waterfall! Knock it off! I tire of waiting for the Chancellor. Where is that scabrous, scaly faced moron? Sir George? Mervyn? More on, more on, more on this subject later. Mervyn, our friend the Chancellor has arrived. Why have you summoned us here, Chancellor? A meeting like this is quite risky for you. Indeed it is. But Sir Loungelot has told the court that he defeated your black dragon. No matter. For Mervyn here is building a bigger, more powerful, new and improved... Black Dragon 2! The sequel! Excellent. A young inventor here in the castle has created an extraordinary power source. With it, your Black Dragon 2 will be unstoppable. A power source, eh? Hmm, what flavor? <laughs> ah! Now wait here by the castle while I go and retrieve the plans. I'll send them down. Right then. In the meantime, I shall prance about and practice my maniacal laughter. <laughs> Flicker, I knew I could depend upon you. of naught was that? Weren't you ever a dragon scout, Flicker? Uh, afraid not. Hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> Let go of me this instant! Flame, what's happening down there? Help me, Flicker! It's Mervyn Ball! And he's tying me up and putting me in the back of his carriage! Go on, let me a Flame! 
flaming note. It says, thanks for princess, was expecting plans. Signed, your pal. Oh no! What plans could they mean? Flicker, what have you done? Depends how much of that last bit you overheard, Chancellor. Most of it. Now tell me what happened, Flicker. Flame was kidnapped, and a flaming note from the kidnappers said that they were expecting some plans. I don't know what plans they were talking about. Simpletons. It should be obvious, Flicker. The kidnappers want the plans to your dishwasher. My steam engine? Yes. Give me the plans and I'll see that the princess is freed. Not gonna do it. Wouldn't be prudent. Fool! You're wasting valuable time! Nah. Talk is cheap. I want to, but I don't have anywhere to put it. If King Allfire finds out about Flame, he'll have me beheaded for sure. Flicker, where is my daughter? I wish to see her. This doorway leads to the royal kitchen, which probably explains the huge knife and fork above it. That door leads to the Camel Hot Library. They've got books on every subject from A to Y. Apparently some dragon sneezed and burnt down the Z's. These stairs lead down to the square table room. I have to be careful. I see many a nightfall after nightfall. This stairway leads down to the front entry hall. The back entry hall's out of order. This leads to the royal bedrooms. Just the thought of Princess Flame's bedroom leaves me weak in the tail. Hey! You snatched my bag! And that's my invention book! Give it back! Hush, lad. Trust me. You'll thank me for this one day. Now let's get these plans to the kidnappers so our beloved Princess Flame can return to us unharmed. This same day, Carrier Eagle. We'll get the plans there lickety-split. Curse you, stupid bird! Oh well, at least I have my backup ground delivery dodo. If you can't trust me, here's your chance to redeem yourself. Follow the dodo to the kidnapper's lair, rescue the princess, and you'll be a hero. As soon as the little fool gets anywhere near Castle Grimm, he'll be chopped into a dozen pieces by Sir George's guards. Did you say something to me, Chancellor? Oh, no, 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 no. I was just having a small, malicious aside. Carry on, lad. I might be able to use these. I'm certain no one will miss a couple of crackers. It's a book from the Royal Library titled Crushing the Will of the Weak with No Remorse.
beg your pardon? You want to pick a garden? Look under horticulture in aisle four! No, I said you're awfully hard of hearing. Oh, you like my earrings? My son sent them to Mayor. He won them in a contest. Can you suggest a book to read today? Read in the hay? Now that's a good way to start a fire. All you have to do is doze off and whoosh. I need help finding a book. Do you have a title? Inventor. And I hope to be a knight by tomorrow. Well, that's fine and dandy, sweetie, but how about the title of a book? Um... Crushing the will of the weak with no remorse. I'm certain we have a copy. You wait here while I check in back! Now there's something you don't see every day. Trivet's reading a book. Greetings, Trivet. What do you want, Flicker? I'm busy here. What are you doing? Changing my life. My days as a jester are over. Armed with this book, I plan to stand firm against the opulent bourgeois oppressors whose sole pleasure stems from making me sit on whoopee cushions. It's been months since you've done anything even remotely funny. All you do is sleep, eat and complain. This book, Hypnotism Made Easy, is going to change everything. We'll see how King High and Mighty Allfire likes making me laugh. Care for a demonstration? OK, but nothing too weird. I don't want to have flashbacks years from now. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to be royalty for a day? Pampered like King Allfire or Princess Flame? Yes, what would it be like to be a princess? Now that would be interesting. Yes! Make me a princess! Oh, I've always wondered about you, Flicker. Alright, now bear with me. Let's see, turning into barnyard animals, turning into pudding, turning into royalty. Here it is. Double, double, this is no trouble. Now you're a princess. Although one with stubble. Hey, sweet cakes! Trivet, what are we doing in the library? Is there any word from Flicker yet? I don't believe it. It works. <laughs> Flicker was right about you, Trivet. Now where is my father? <laughs> the last time I saw the king, he was in the square table room. You should go hop up on his lap. You do look ravishing today. <laughs> you're quite a little freak, Trivet. I'm leaving. Hello, Daddy. Busy doing kingly things? Flicker, what are you doing? Oh, Father, I've acted like such a fool lately. Can you ever forgive me? I don't care much for this behaviour, Flicker. Stop! It's silly. And rather suspect. But, Daddy... That's enough. I mean it. Enough what, King Allfire? Enough for... Flicker? Who else would it be, sire? Are you feeling all right? You've been experimenting with your chemicals again, haven't you? I can tell. Be gone! Weirdo. Now, where did I see that book? Blast you, Trivet! <laughs> yes, Your Highness, sir. It was so much fun. Let's try that hypnotism thing again. <laughs> Your wish is my command. Double, double, this is no trouble. Now you're a princess, although one with stubble. Flicker, where am I? Where's Daddy? Oh, I simply must talk to him about getting my own castle. Oh, what? What am I wearing? I can't be seen like this. I must have some proper clothing, or I'm not going anywhere.
I'd better take this along. The princess always likes to look her best. I might as well. They're not much of an heirloom anymore. That's a pretty odd. No! Where did I see that book? Here, princess. Get some clothes on and then go and give your daddy a big smooch. Oh, thank you. You really know how to treat a lady. Now, don't peek. Hello, father. I understand you wish to speak with me. Oh, there you are, Flame. Go to your room. Oh, Father, is punishment your solution to everything? Do you intend to punish the world? I'll go to my room, but only because it's my choice. Good work, Flicker. You're free to go now. Finally, now I can go after that dodo bird and rescue the princess. King Ulthai thought of this information, Booth. I wouldn't waste my breath. Now to catch up with that dodo bird. This is neither the time nor the place for that. This is neither the time nor the place for that. This is neither. This is not. This is. This is. This is. This is. This is, this is, this is, this is Lance the mold seems weary. It must be tough to have the weight of the world on your shoulders. That wouldn't be constructive. You crazy dragon! <laughs> oh yeah, you better stop that right now! <laughs> hey, you want a crazy kid? <laughs>